Another red day in the market. This is across the board as I will show you guys here right now. This is a screenshot somebody took about four hours ago as of the time of me making this video. So it is not just AMC, it is going across the board. We saw also in the cryptocurrency markets, largely red pretty much across everything. And so we're focusing on AMC as usual in this video here. Just want to let you guys know that in the after hours, because I do have trading view up, the after hours is actually showing the price of AMC stock at $36.88 as of the time I'm making this video, and it is struggling. It went up to $38.04 just a little bit before the actual day close, and then it dropped. Now, I want to start off by letting you guys know, as usual, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research, and I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research as well, and we have some new information that is coming from the U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. I'll be talking about that in just a minute here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So yeah, we can see for the daily drop down 5.88%. It did hurt a bit, but take a look at the volume. Volume is still very, very low. And I think I have a hair in my mouth. So Volume is still very, very low, just slightly up from yesterday. It's comparable to that of what we saw back on September 23rd, and just overall, just very, very low. Now, what's interesting, too, is if you take a look over here at Fidelity, Fidelity shows that there was more buy orders than there were sell orders. Now, you could argue and say that, yeah, there's more buy orders than sell orders, but if a sell order is a much larger amount of volume, then that could make up the difference of why it's in the negative. And we're actually seeing this pretty much across the board here. Now, with AMC, the amount, it's actually about two-thirds, 66% for buys, 34% for sells. So about two thirds were purchases compared to the selling. We're take a look at some of the other metrics here. Like for example, the dark pool activity, dark pool data, we can see negative 66 point, uh, about negative 66.4 billion shares. And that is negative $2.8 billion taking place over through the dark pool side. And if we also go ahead and look at some more data here, we can see that the <clears throat> We can see that the shares available to borrow has dropped down. It is at 450000 We can see that the fee for borrowed shares is still the same. I don't know why that's not going up with everything else that's going on. So the fee is 0.8% right now. We take a look at the options data for the expiration of contracts this Friday. We have 187000 that are out of the money. Barely anything that's actually in the money. And next week looks very, very minimalistic. For the dark pool data, still above 60%. Still. It's like every single day. We go look back here all the way back to August 27th. We don't have any days that are showing that are less than 60%. So that was for yesterday's data on that. And just moving on, we can also see that the short interest rate right down here, current short interest percentage of the free float, all time new high for the estimated short interest on AMC according to Ortex's report. Largely it's been believed before that we're above 30, probably closer to 40%, but we don't know definitively because we can only see what's being reported off of this. And so with this being over 20, almost 21%, it just it keeps getting worse and worse and worse. And when you know, when is the margin calls going to take place? The fact that the price is dropping, people are taking advantage of that. Sure, that's the whole reason why you short is because you're trying to make a profit on the way down. How much lower is this going to go? There's talks about the uh, government shutdown potentially on the table. That could also be fueling into a lot of this as well. And like I said, it's not just AMC, guys. It's a lot of stocks across the board, which is probably why some people also try jumping in now for a short position but they might get screwed we got to keep an eye out on this as this is getting ready to come up here testing the very bottom of this fibonacci extension and there's a level of support here right around 35 dollars and 65 cents so the concern is whether or not that that's going to see a bounce if it does drop through next level i would keep an eye on is 32 dollars and 13 cents which i can actually go ahead and whoops not do that wanted to do this Go ahead and get that saved. Save. There we go. So yeah, thirty right around thirty-two dollars and twelve cents is a significant level drop. Well, next level drop, and then a massive drop would pull it all the way back down. 
and I'd be keeping an eye on around $20.43. Now, the hope is that since we are so close to the month of September being done, that we're going to see this start to rally up because September has had historically been known to be bad, and I'm sure a lot of people want to have the end of the year finish off on a good note. So I think we might be getting closer to the end on this, but I can't say definitively with this stuff, guys. It's kind of the unfortunate side of this. And then with U.S. Treasury Secretary Yellen, the gist of what she said, because she did kind of ramble on here for a bit, one of the main key points is that there are concerns about hedge funds and the danger of leverage, and that might result in financial runs. So that means that hedge funds and leverage is something that's on the table. She also talked about the conversions over to cra uh, cash so that it can help avoid the crashing of the market. And so they're, they're looking at things, but right now there's a lot of shady stuff that's going on. The stuff that Citadel is posting is very specific wording, and you know it could be interpreted as far as all the other stuff they were seeing getting posted. Like they're trying to make it sound as if they're not actually doing anything bad, but based on the way that they're wording it, it's like, oh, they're telling the truth, but they're not telling the truth. They're saying that they asked them. Maybe they didn't ask them. Maybe they told them. They said it was on a specific date. They're like, we did not ask Robin Hood on this date. It's like, okay, but maybe you asked them the day before. You know, if you did that, then it's still bad. And you're technically telling the truth in your statement that you're saying now. And it's just, all this stuff is so, it's so bizarre. I mean, you look into it and the stuff that was in the communications that's being leaked. Like, I don't know why they keep getting away with this stuff. It largely looks like they've been doing some shady things. I can't say definitively, but based on everything that we've been seeing, it looks really bad. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys want to get free cryptocurrency or free stock, I do have referral links in the description. It's free money for you guys. And also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. And feel free to share the video on social media. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next episode.